Okay, so I'll come back. I don't, yeah, it's so close back here. Sometimes I do the mic test, and instead of hitting stop, I hit pause, and <laughs> he keeps hoping. He keeps hoping. Oh, Lordy Lou. Our package finally came. And the mailman was staring daggers at me. And I thought, well, I called in and we were really nice. I thought we were cool. I, you know, I didn't call in to get them in trouble or anything. I just, I said, you know, I just wanted to make sure it, you know, was a different truck. Honestly, that's where that conversation began. And somehow we went down the rabbit hole of wondering if it was Porch Pirates or a neighbor got it or it was stuck on the truck or was it maybe still in our one? No one knew. It was a mystery. Where was the package? And somehow, after the wolf got a little more attention, the package showed up. He is he is getting more ready to let go. One of you asked if it could be fear. You know, fear that will forget him, fear that will be replaced. And I said, I think that's a big part of it. And I think he's trying to show me he's ready to let go because the one tree stump that's marked for him is finally starting to fall apart. And, you know, that sounds like a weird tale, but it's kind of like he's letting me know he's ready to go, but he's he's not quite ready to go. So it's a process. Um, I freshened up his part of the mural. I freshened up the whole mural. I'm probably going to dive paint fumes, and so we won't be apart that long after all. <laughs> Getting giggling back here and a little worried look, but, you know, um, I freshened up his mural. Made sure, you know, his altar looks nice. And so, well, keep all your things. Everything's going to stay where it is and not as some kind of weird memorial. I said, I'm still going to talk to you. I said, but you got to go sleep, Wolf. Go sleep before we hit you with something and make you sleep. He knows. He knows. He knows it's t sleepy time for Wolf. But he, he he's going to fight and claw. And God answered my prayer, which was lovely. Because you guys know I'm on a still talk to God. And... Basically, I ended up, you know, we hit a pretty grim milestone today in the U.S. We're now, unfortunately, officially over 100,000. And I just thought, I, I need to go to church. Not like come to Jesus Church, UU Church, which is, they're not even sure if Jesus exists, some of them. But <laughs> I'm getting giggles back here and applause. Um, the one, the first pastor was terrible. He found Jesus for a hot minute. He lost him again already. But the second preacher was pretty damn good because he talked about butterflies. He talked about how, you know, everybody thinks that transforming for a butterfly, it's so beautiful when you make it trite and saccharine and everything. But it's actually suffering and pretty metal. Well, he didn't put it like that, but they basically they turn into goo. And only a few couple cells remember what they were and what they should be, and then they transform. Let's hope the no feelings were involved in this. Let's hope they have no concept of pain. Um, and then they transform. And he talked about how, you know, transformation usually hurts. And on a global level right now, we're going through a painful transformation. And God was speaking to me through that because there was something specifically I've been praying to God for, praying to God for, praying to God for, praying to all the gods for. In fact, they were so sick of hearing about it, they sent Hades to talk to me. I know when Hades shows up, it's like, uh-oh, I better not mention this thing again. And I'll say, what is it you've been praying about? Absolutely nothing. How are you, my lord? <laughs> so, so it was like God saying, no, I'm not going to promise you this thing. You have to leap out to me. And I think we're all getting that message. I think everyone, no matter whether you work with Loki, Odin, the tree outside the universe, whatever, cheeseburger, I don't care. Um, you're being told you have to leave to me. I'm not going to promise you that one thing you want. I know you think your life will be over if you don't get it, but I'm not promising you that leap. You know, jump. You want to want to work with me? Want to work with me? Yay, jump! And we're holding on to the cliff edge going, you're nuts. I'll die. We'll transform and we'll make it the god asking us to make the leap of faith is not a god that's going to go oopsie really they're not not even loki would do that <laughs> i got you hope shut up you wouldn't he would not if they're asking us to make a leap of faith right now and i think a lot of us are doing it as part of our transformation they're going to catch us just like Odin is probably putting up half of his fuss, so I know that I'm important to him and my ego is massaged. <laughs> and 
I know he loves me and he knows I love him and we're not going to forget each other and we're really dragging it out. This should have just been like, see ya, and he should have left and we're really dragging it out and it's like a dramatic opera at this point. It's like the ring cycle will play 12 times before we get done saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> And, you know, it's it's kind of a time for a transformation. You know, Odin is descending. We all, all Lokians are feeling that. Loki's ascending. But as Loki's ascending, a lot of other gods are coming into our life, too, I think, for a lot of us. Hades especially seems to be really popular working with people right now. Which always makes me smile, because I said, I thought in the old days, he said, you hated people. And he said, no, I have my cults. I just didn't like most people. <laughs> and I looked at him and said, well, okay. But, you know, he is a very loving, kind god to work with. He's not funny like Loki. He does have his own sense of humor, but <laughs> Loki, don't help. But, you know, he is great to work with. And we're getting to see a lot of other gods come back into our life. God might be coming back into your life. Jesus might come back into your life. And it's not a trap. They're not going to drag you to church. You might see an angel or a saint come back into your life. It's it's the year where you do whatever you damn well please and don't worry about, you know, being a specific religion. Someone had asked me a quick question about could you work with gods of any different, you know, different pantheons. You can do what you want, but you can't do that and expect that people from those traditions are always going to accept it. I said, you know, you can do whatever you want, but if you're going to read a book, or you're going to go join a set tradition, then they're going to tell you no. You know, because that's how they believe. They truly believe that. And it's unfortunate for them, but that's the difference between religion, which becomes set, and relig you know, set religion is set. There are rules, and there are gods and goddesses, and there are ones that aren't worshipped, and there are ones you should never worship, and there's this whole set of rules and everything where spirituality is more about finding the gods and goddesses you resonate with and finding your own path. And we all have a unique path. So unfortunately, I can't give you Cliff Notes version to any of this. Um, I've been thinking a lot lately. Somebody asked me about, would I ever write a book on Loki? And I said, no. One, I wouldn't know where to begin because everybody's journey is different. I could not write you the book you need. You need the book for your life journey is what we're all looking for, and that doesn't exist because we're the only ones that can write it. I know, it sucks, but it doesn't exist, you know? Um, and I had recorded something for you that was so horribly dreadful, I threw it out as it was uploading. I recorded a thing where we went into the Grand Canyon VR experience. It's still as broken as it used to be, and I forgot. Um, it recorded just fine, but the playback, it had this crazy wavy line at the edge. I'm like, I can't even watch it. You guys are going to go nuts. And I talked about what we're talking about right now. And I talked about how, you know, it's scary to have to jump. It is. It's scary to transform. We don't like it as a species. We really don't. What we all really want to hear is how do we manifest a lottery ticket? How do we get that mansion? How do we get god to say yes to all the things we want and we we might not get that i i was actually not happy to get no i wasn't happy to get no you 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 come to me don't you worry about that thing you come to me and i sat down and i thought about it and i'm like well if god's not telling me he's going to give it to me and none of the other gods have told me they are going to give it to me um i heard you're going to get it all right but <laughs> If there is something the gods don't think I need, then I don't need it. And I have to accept that with the most grace I can muster, you know. Um, every little tiny thing that goes wrong on this house, I'm not going to get an instant upgrade. I just have to accept that that's how the universe works for most of us. And it's okay. It's okay. It's not... If I focus on what I'm not getting, if I focus on the prayers I'm not getting answered, and if I focus on the things I'm not being given that I think I should be given, it's easy to become resentful and bitter and lash out at other people than it really is. What we have to focus on, as hard as it is, is, <sighs> okay, I'm not getting that thing that I really, really need in case the universe is listening, right? But if the gods don't think I need it, if the universe doesn't think I need it, I have no idea how I'm going to make it through, but I am. And we have to focus on that right now. Um, unfortunately, no God has offered to restart 2020 for us and to kind of go bloop, 
and get rid of COVID. I wish. But no gods offer that to us, and we know they can't, or they won't. Either way, we know it's not going to happen. There we go. We know that much. And we know it's nothing we manifested. We know it's part of nature. It's an unfortunate part of nature, but it's a part of nature. And sometimes we really goof up. And this time we did it on a scale that's affecting us globally still. And we don't know when we'll have the cure. We don't know when we'll have the vaccine. Every day it seems we read they have the vaccine. No, they don't. They have the cure. No, they don't. They have the the immunity shot. No, not quite. And, you know, we just have to be patient and have time. We will get a vaccine. We will get, you know, a shot you can go in and take, and it will be no more troublesome than going in for your yearly flu shot. We will reach that point, but we're not going to reach it today. Probably not this week, this month, maybe not this year, but we will get there. And in the meantime, our spirituality is probably going to look a lot different. We may end up working with gods and goddesses we thought we would never work with. We may end up working with no gods and goddesses at all for a time. Some of us might retreat and do inner journey work or something like that. And some people might go home. Some people might say, well, I don't like how things are turning out. I'm going home to God or Jesus or whomever you start out with, and that's fine. Um, uh, My main objective right now is getting the wolf to know, not abandoning him at day camp. <laughs> that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm taking my baby to day camp and trying to leave him off, and he's welling and hugging hugging on to mommy's knees, and I'm like, a sweetheart, you, you have to go. We talked about this. You're going to love it here. And, you know, you, you you have to go. He will go. He will. He's, he's emitting. He's kind of taking test flights now. He's going away for longer and longer periods. And he knows he needs to rest. And like I said, you can still work with Odin. Uh, but for a lot of us, he needs to retreat and rest for a while, which all gods need to. Loki goes on walkabout sometimes. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. If he disappears for a week or a month, it doesn't mean he doesn't love you or care about you. It just means it's Loki, and sometimes you can't find him, especially when you have an offering, and then after you've eaten or somehow used the offering, then he shuts up because he's smart ass. That's why. He was probably there the whole time. I mean, back here. But yeah, we didn't bring you that. Um... It was a super bad recording, actually. We didn't bring you that, but, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope everybody globally is doing well. It's not just a U.S. thing. We did hit a grim milestone here, but, you know, every country is hitting a grim new milestone every day. And we just hope that, you know, you're all making it through as well as can be expected. And, you know, keep your sense of humor about you and find your new normal and find your comfort level. That's what a lot of these experts are talking about, about what what is your comfort level? Are you comfortable going out and using precautions, hopefully? Um, think like safe sex is kind of the same thing. It, it was a great metaphor that I didn't come up with. It's kind of like the same thing. You know, wear your protection and all will be well. Social distance. Um, you know, whatever your comfort level is, you go with that. Don't push yourself outside your comfort level. Don't feel pressure to go to a park. A lot of theme parks are opening. If you don't feel right, if you don't feel safe, don't go. If you don't feel safe going to a movie theater or a restaurant or a church or wherever, you don't have to go. Nobody can make you. People wish they could, but nobody can make you. There's no law anywhere in the world that says you have to go. So, you know. Follow your comfort level. Do what works for you if you still want to spend some time at home. And if you want to do as little as possible. In fact, if you have been liking spending time at home and you don't want to go out if you don't have to go to work or you don't have to go get supplies, do that. Do what's going to make you comfortable. So we hope this finds you well. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.